Good afternoon. This afternoon we'll be having a major announcement. But uh, before we get to that, let's get stories making headlines this afternoon. You are in time for the lunchtime news. My name is Irene Mchuma Odim. On sign language interpretation, we have uh, Brian Muraru. Now, the Law Society of Kenya says it condemns the onslaught on the judiciary and the threats by the executive that it will disobey court orders. The lawyers staged a peaceful procession in the city center demanding the independence of the judiciary and the adherence to the rule of law. The LSK has also hit out at Parliament for indicating it will ignore a court order and continue with the public participation process on the affordable housing bill. It is a march in support of the statehood of the nation of Kenya because Kenya cannot exist as a country if it is not ruled by the rule of law. So it is important, as we undertake this, for the public to understand and to join us in this and to stand with us and to stand with all Kenyans of goodwill to say that if the president would want to say that as a Kenyan he can choose which order of the court to obey or not, what makes it different from any other Kenyan from saying we are not going to obey those orders. This is an important country, not just in the region, not just in the African region, but the world. And therefore, if Kenya gets it wrong and we allow a situation where judges will be intimidated into issuing orders that just favor uh, the executive, then we have lost it. Alaska united! Our people united! Long live the constitution! Long live! Long live the people! Long live! Long 